Alrighty, so another thing I wanted to grab a quick video of is the discrepancy in the GPS, the uh, car navigation versus my phone. So I'm, it's really hard for me to see. So I'm supposed to arrive at 11.13 a.m. here. And then on my Android phone, I don't know, uh, it's so hard to read. It's actually uh, 10.05 a.m. Let me get a better shot of that. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, grab a video of that. Like I said, I always forget to take videos when I do cool stuff like this. And, uh, yeah, the Dodge Caravan's working out pretty good. Hopefully it... Uh, you know, hopefully it continues to hold up really good, but, uh, I've done this drive with my Honda CRV, actually my old Honda CRV since I got a new one, and also this, and I have to say, uh, side-by-side -side comparison, the Dodge Caravan wins. This, uh, chair is absolutely comfortable, and that's rare for me. I have really bad arthritis, and, uh, usually this long drive just kills me in the shoulder and the hip and everything and I'm actually doing really good uh, despite drinking Mountain Dew and uh, sugary soda I think one of the things that makes the caravan so comfortable is the seat goes up really high and that's something I've actually learned recently uh, I bought a computer chair and I was looking at them, I was looking at the cheapest one, and I started looking at the other ones, and I wanted to know what the actual difference was, and it seemed like to me the difference was the height of the chair. Uh, the more expensive ones would come up off the ground a lot higher than the less expensive ones. So uh, for me with my um, arthritis and my hip and stuff, uh, a seat uh, in a vehicle that, that goes really high works out really good for me. It doesn't put as much pressure on my hip and is more comfortable to drive in. Another really cool thing is it's got like the captain chair, you know, it's got the armrest there and then they just use the door for the other armrest and it works really good. Um, this one's kind of skinny, so for bigger people I'm sure that's, they're probably not going to like it, but uh, it works good for me and I'm a little bit of a plump guy, so yeah, all in all, I have to say I'm really impressed with the caravan. Uh, with uh, also a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, my 2018 CRV, <coughs> um, the Honda has Honda sensing, and it'll actually like if you're on a long drive like this, the Honda will pretty much drive itself. In my 2018, um, if you took your hand off the wheel too much it would beep, which was like really, really annoying. So it kind of took uh, the luxury out of that feature for a long drive. My 2020 uh, Honda CRV, they eliminated the beep. The message will come up on the uh, screen, but it doesn't do the annoying beep and it's a lot nicer. So uh, yeah, there's that. If, if this had, if this caravan had the, uh, I don't know, the lane keep assist uh, feature or, you know, whatever the different companies call it. Uh, this would be like a really, really nice drive, but all in all, even without that, it, it's been really nice. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have the adaptive cruise control either. And, uh, you know, I, I never, well, I've always kind of really liked gadgets and cars and stuff, but uh, I'm really quick to hop on the technology that makes life a lot more convenient for me. And the uh, the Honda CRV with the Honda sensing, the lane keep assist, you really can't beat it. For example, I'm coming up on this FedEx truck. The Honda would actually, up. Oh, I'm gonna slow down. The Honda would actually slow down for you and uh, keep pace. In, and then it would be up to you if you wanted to pass it and stuff. And normally in a situation like that, you usually get really angry 
if you have cruise control because now you have to do something you know but with the Honda you don't and I find that I get stuck behind slow traffic in the Honda pretty often and I'm and it doesn't get me angry that's the like main selling feature for me with uh, the Honda those features make me such a like more comfortable driver I don't get angry in stop and go traffic the you know the Honda takes care of that and also like when you're on the highway like a long drive like this uh, in this case I probably would be stuck behind that FedEx truck for a good five minutes and it might slow my trip down but on the other hand uh, I don't know the the easier the easier the car makes the drive for you the better driver you're gonna be so I think that's gonna be enough rambling for now sorry I went on so long with that but uh, yeah I think that's gonna do it so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one